Hey everyone, it's Audrey with Social Media 4, that's the number 4, Beginners.com, and today is Tuesday. That means it is Tip Trick Tuesday, and every Tuesday I bring you a tip or a trick that will make your life a little bit um, easier on these different social media sites, and maybe even give you some aha moments. So today what I want to show you is a really cool Google Chrome extension that you can add for for free that will, will record your screen and your a video camera if you want. And this is great for maybe those coaches out there that want to show their client something on their screen. It's great for any of you that are doing courses, like you're creating courses and um, going to be selling those courses or give them away for free. It's also great if you have a sister that is just getting into the crafting with her Cricut and she is feeling very frustrated and cannot understand this Cricut design space. And that is exactly the issue that we're having right now. My sister has gotten into Cricut Design Space and the program that we use, it can be very tricky. So she's been feeling a little bit frustrated. And so I told her, I'm gonna jump on here and I'm gonna show you how to use Loom. It is a free video recording um, extension and you don't have to pay for it unless you want the pro version of it. You can um, record up to 100 videos on it. You can re-record as long as you need to record on it. Um, as a matter of fact, I think it says after two hours it may come on and say, hey, are you still recording? So there is no time limit on that. But there are some pro um, um, you know, uh, pro things that you can do that's really cool if you so choose. So anyway, let's just jump in and I'm going to show you how to use Loom. First of all, if you are, if you haven't downloaded, all you would simply have to do is just go to Google and all I did was just said Loom on Google Chrome and um, this one right here, Chrome.Google, the web store. So just click on that and then um, just download it. All right, so once it's downloaded though, you'll see this little logo. This is the icon for Loom. And so I'm gonna click on it and these are the options that I have. Now I am recording off of my Mac and talking to you guys, but then also I have an external camera, which is my um, webcam C920 that's right here as well. So uh, let's just go over these options. Right here, you can either choose to record the screen along with your camera, and you can see yourself down here to the bottom left of your screen. You can choose to just do screen only, so if you're not feeling it and you don't wanna be on the camera today, you don't have to be, um, but you would probably want to upload a, you know, just a regular photo of yourself, a nice photo, you know, on the day that you look really, really nice. <laughs> Um, just uh, upload it onto uh, Loom and that'll, that'll be for another video if you really, really want to get into the Loom. Anyway, but you can also choose that if you are just recording your screen, you can choose to turn off the video or the uh, photo of yourself by just toggling this switch off. So either or, and then you can also just do your camera only. You wanna record yourself, then you can go ahead and just re record yourself, all right? Here's your microphone audio. You can turn this on or off. Let me click back on screen plus cam. Um, because this gives us some more options right here. You can choose to record your full desktop. So that means it will record this nice um, Sierra or this desert that's in the back or the, with this mountain that I have, plus this Google Chrome. Or I could just say, I just want to currently do the current tab that I am on. So it would only record this tab that I'm on and it would not record any other tab that I would go to. So keep that in mind, okay, before you hit that uh, start recording button. Um, let's see, we're going to go back to full desktop right here. You can choose your camera source. Obviously, I have 
the um, webcam right there. Then your micro, oh wait, this flip camera. This is really cool. I love this um, aspect of Loom because if you have wording behind you, I do like right here, you can't really see it, but you can actually flip your camera. And if you notice down here to the left, now the camera was flipped. So let me go ahead and flip it back. But that's really cool if you have um, verbiage in the background or for whatever reason you really want. The microphone, I have an external one, but you can click on that. You can choose your internal microphone. Um, I have a Yeti one, so I'll use that. We've already gone over this option. The next one is control menu. As you can see, um, right down here, you have these little control menus. If you don't want that to show up when you're recording, just toggle this switch and then that turns off. Okay, and then if you want a recording countdown, the three, two, one, keep this lit to green. If you don't want that and you just want it to automatically record as soon as you hit this start recording, then you can choose to toggle that off. Okay, so we're gonna keep it on because it gives us that three, two, one. And um, down here, what I wanted to show you real quick before we even start the recording is um, the fact that you can change how big you are, how big this picture is down at the bottom. Oh, and another thing is if you want to move this, you can move this anywhere on the screen. So if it's going to be better for you over here, um, you can put it here or, you know, wherever you want it on the screen. You can also move it around when it's this big. But if you notice when you go to really big on the screen, um, actually, no, it does let you. Okay. Wow. Before it didn't let me. So I don't know if that's new or if it's always been there and I just didn't, and it wouldn't move for me, but this is moving so you can make it um, big as well. So we're gonna go back down to the little bitty and we're gonna put me over here in this left hand corner and we're gonna say start recording. So now you have the option to record your entire screen, okay? or you can choose to just do the application window. And now just to let you know, if you have other applications that are open, so let's say Microsoft Word, or if pho Photoshop, or you wanna show somebody how to um, use any other program or any application, you can choose that application only and it will not record the rest of your screen. Now, if you want to record everything that you're doing on your screen, then you definitely want to do your entire screen but for now what I'm gonna do is just show my sister the Cricut design space so I just want to um, record this application now another thing I do want to let you know is that if you do this application window this is in Google Chrome it will record all of the tabs because remember before we said only this tab um, or you could choose that, but we chose to do the entire screen and this is why, because now if I needed to show her something else on another tab, it's going to record all of them. So I'm gonna choose that and then hit share. It's giving me the three, two, one countdown and now it is recording, okay? Just real quick, it's recording. You can see um, this little icon, it's flashing a little bit. Plus you can see the little red circle on which tab it's recording. So if I want it to record this tab, now you notice how it jumps and it says, okay, this is the tab that is recording on. Okay, so this is, you know, our uh, website where we offer free tutorials on the different social media sites. So if you haven't been there, um, be sure to get over. I'm reorganizing it and putting up new videos all the time. So now let's get back to the Cricut Design Space. And so I can go in here and show her how to use this um, software right here. Down here to, I see I can move it around as I am recording. So if I just wanted to get it right there, whatever the case may be. Also, what's really cool is if I had my iPad, like I can also show my iPad here. So you could be looking at my screen and then show my iPad, okay? Um, but right here, we've already gone over that. You can hide the menu and then bring it back. This cancels your recording. So if I was to say cancel, it's gonna say, hey, this recording is canceled. You're not gonna be able to do anything with it. You can't get it back. So we're gonna cancel on that. And then if you need to pause, if the phone rings, the dog barks, somebody knocks at the door, 
whatever the case may be you can pause and then when you come back to it you can click on that and now you're recording again and then when you are completely finished you can just simply click on this finish recording all right so now you are finished recording and then this is your options right here the, you can copy the link and now this link can be shared like I can go ahead and send this to my sister and she can watch it and she does not need a loom account she can just go ahead and watch it um, you can change the privacy settings on uh, loom right now I have it link sharing I can invite people but that's the pro version you would have to um, create you know get the pro version of this and to upgrade real quick it's ten dollars per person per month month which is not bad um considering you know the the stuff that they give you for free is phenomenal but then um you can do some other call to action custom thumbnails and things like that so um you can also add a password to the link uh, that you share with anybody and if you want you can even make it public and it will appear on the google search so this is great if um for somebody who, like me who offers free tutorials um this could actually appear in google search and get even more people and then if i had a pro version i could do a call to action um to it you know hey sign up for this or uh, whatever the case may be here's your edit your video you do have a couple of things that you can do you can turn um off the comments if you want so that nobody can comment on this video if you keep it on then you can also get email notifications when anybody comments it on it you can use as default i'm assuming that these are just you know when you put in the uh characters that makes the emoji that it would make the emoji in there i don't know let's see um boom and i don't know <laughs> i have no idea what that is uh, viewer can download if you want them to be able to download this video you can do so if not toggle it off and they won't be able to download your video and then show analytics to the viewer if you don't want them to see your analytics just toggle that off after you've done this be sure to click save because then that will be saved to this video all right here's the video itself as you can see now it is recording okay and so down here just real quick it's record so that was what was recorded by loom now i'm using camtasia to record to show you how to use loom <laughs> oh and I, I i forgot the camera is off i'm supposed to be you know oh my goodness <laughs> do these tutorials too much fun anyway if you want to download you can download your video and then upload it to YouTube or Vimeo or wherever you want to download it if you want to say nope forget it I don't want this video to be seen by anybody then you can delete the video and then if you want to share it you can the link is this copied link you can embed it into a blog post or a page on your website or wherever else you want to embed it you can share it on Twitter Facebook and send it in an email then down here this is a pro version of it you would have to actually it says you have to invite three people when I did that it was saying that loom was going to be able to uh, send out emails on my behalf or something like that I just didn't feel comfortable doing that so I said you know what nope I'm okay with that uh, and then here's the comment so if anybody wants to comment I can say here you go sis and then say post and then she can come back on here and say thank you whatever the case may be and then also over here you have easily send to slack and to be honest with you i don't know what slack is so i'm gonna have to get on there and figure out what the heck is slack so that i am up to date okay so i hope this video helped you and that you will um, be able to use loom it really is a powerful uh, tool and an extension for google chrome if you like this video be and you know somebody that could use this or you need to show them how to do this so that you can see their screen and you can they can record you can record your screen uh, be sure to share it give it a thumbs up if you liked it if you have any comments or questions leave them in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell because this uh youtube channel is really going to start blowing up with a lot of video tutorials on the different social media sites and of course every Tuesday tip trick Tuesday okay uh I hope you guys liked it enjoy the rest of your day or evening and until next time y'all be blessed bye